Hello wonderful people. Hello cat lovers. Welcome to your channel Cats with Passion. Today I will give you 25 tips for those who own cats at home, especially for those who are beginners or who want to adopt a cat for the first time. 1. Never adopt a cat in your house just to imitate others, nor to make it a game for your children. Adopt a cat because you love cats. 2. Prepare a place for your cat to stay and sleep. This place can be bought ready-made or made by yourself from a large cardboard box or wooden. Just enough space for your cat to lie down. If your house is spacious, you can allocate a small room for it that contains a place to sleep and eat, and a cat toilet and toys. 3. If you leave the house for several hours and leave your cat alone, make sure that you leave him enough food and water. Before we continue, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive our videos constantly. 4. Make sure that the door to the bathroom and the rest of the rooms are either tightly closed or open in such a way that the cat is unable to close it. Some cats enter the bathroom and then close the door and then find themselves imprisoned in it, and cannot reopen the door, or they may try to get out and hang their neck between the door and the wall, which leads to suffocation. 5. Make sure your new cat eats and drinks. If not, see a veterinarian. 6. Give your cat a fun toy cats love to play with toys. From tiny felt rats to balls with tiny bells, there are a variety of toys that are great for chatting with your cat. 7. Make sure that your children do not harm the cat. Some children treat the cat as a toy. He pulls him from his tail or carries him from his ear or from his head. Train your children to love the cat and deal with it tenderly. Prevent your children from doing such behavior because it may kill the cat. If you are unable to protect the cat from your children, you should not adopt a cat in your home. 8. Create an attractive indoor environment. Cats are generally safer indoors, but they can be boring. Create an attractive home environment for your new cat. Arrange the house and cat tree so that the kitten can climb. Open the curtains and set up a window to provide a small, cat TV, for your cat to watch outside. 9. Communicate and pet your cat often. Many people think of cats as antisocial animals, but that doesn't mean they don't need to play. Spend time with your cat every day. 10. Clean the trash can daily. The trash can is convenient, but can get dirty if not cleaned. A simple daily cleaning will help, and the many garbage formulas will make it easy to scoop up and flush the toilet. Cats will love you for providing a comfortable and clean place, and you'll appreciate the fact that there are no messy odors that cats leave behind. 11. Buy a scraping pole. Furniture, curtains and carpets will thank you. Cats need an outlet to quench their urge to scratch, so it's a good idea to create a scratching pole. It's also a good idea for your cat to exercise and stretch every day. 12. Know the ingredients of cat food. Take a moment to read the ingredients list before you want to buy cat food from the adorable advertisement. And talk to your veterinarian about which brand of food is best for your cat's nutritional needs. 13. Cat Scratchers Installation Cats need to remove the dead outer layer of their claws and scrape to straighten and mark the area. Scratching can also be a way to show happiness or relieve stress. If you don't provide a scratching pole, your cat will turn to the carpet or furniture. Scratching posts is better to give more than not enough. Place the scratching pole in another room where your cat likes to play. Some cats only use one breed, so try both vertical and horizontal scrapers. 14. Remember that you can train your cat. 15. Enjoy the outdoors even if your cat is uncomfortable going outside, you can safely spend time outdoors. Set up an enclosed outdoor space where your kitten can play, such as a floor-attached pavilion or cat tent. You can even put your cat in a safe harness and go for a walk in the backyard on a leash. Kittens must first become accustomed to seat belts and doors. Some will crawl off the ground for a while before feeling comfortable in the harness, and some may not move at all for a few minutes while getting used to the feel. 17. Play with the cat. Spend a lot of time with your new cat. This supports her brain and helps her develop good socialization skills. Have her chase the house with a feather wand or hold a snack in hand and encourage the cat to chase you down the hallway. Clicker training is another great way to bond and maintain a mind with your cat. 18. Help your cat to be safe and secure your cat will be a little shy at first, so try to welcome your home as much as possible. It is perfectly normal for your cat to be tense and hide from you. Cats generally don't like change and may take some time to get used to all the new smells and sounds in your home. You can help your cat by giving it its own room or space to retreat and feel safe. 
Place a comfortable bed on it so she can snuggle up. Some cats prefer a closed bed that allows them to hide if they feel overwhelmed. Also, put in some catnip toys and a soft blanket. Place a calm diffuser in the comfort zone around the house. Ideally, plug it into an electrical outlet in each room where the cat spends most of its time. These diffusers release drugs and odorless vapors that mimic cat pheromones, indicating that the area is safe and secure. It's like signaling your cat in your own language to improve your cat's mental health. Increasing the safety of kittens reduces stress reactions such as scratches and splashes. 19. Visit veterinarian Find a suitable veterinarian for your cat, make an appointment for a test and make sure their vaccine is up to date. Consider getting a microchip for him too. Keep the new cat's microchip number and photo on your mobile phone in case the new cat escapes. You will be glad you did. 20. Slowly introduce your cat to other pets. When you bring a new cat home, slowly introduce it to other pets, such as your pet. Place the new cat in another room and feed the pet on both sides of the closed door. Place each pet's blanket in another pet's room, sometimes switching rooms to get used to each other's scents. Finally, graduate to feed them on either side of the closed gate, then try a monitored visit. Look at their body language at every step of the method so that you can separate them if needed. 21. Try different types of litter and litter box. It is usually advisable to have one litter box and an additional litter box for each cat. One cats have plenty of space in the litter box so they can get a little territory. You can also try different types of trash and boxes. Some cats prefer soft bedding, while long-haired cats may prefer crystal bedding that doesn't stick to the fur. Cats like covered boxes, uncovered boxes, low-edged boxes, or other breeds. Keep the toilet away from pedestrian traffic and loud noises. Don't forget to spot clean your cat's litter box daily and do a more thorough cleaning once a week. If the new cat is not filling the poop, try the following steps to encourage this action. 22. Use good food and keep cats away from all dangerous things cats live on good food. A Voderm's wet and dry cat food is a good place to start. You can find many flavors to choose from. 23. Do not leave your cat alone in your house for more than 8 hours, because he will feel bored and consider himself a prisoner. If you have to leave him alone for more than 8 hours, you must prepare a hole at the bottom of the door or a small window that enables him to exit and enter whenever he wants, and that it is suitable for his size so that he does not get stuck in it and suffocate. 24. Feed your cat 3 or 4 meals a day. There is no need to give him food whenever he asks, as the cat may eat more than it needs. 3 or 4 times a day is sufficient. 25. Take care of your cat's health in terms of vaccinations. In case of illness, contact your vet. If he scratches his skin a lot, make sure he has fleas in his hair. Consult your veterinarian to guide you to a drug for fleas. Do not worry, fleas in cats do not transfer to human hair. Some cat behavior may be annoying, but do not worry, you can train your cat what you want her to do, and where it suits you to enter or not to enter. I hope you benefit from these tips. And like the video and subscribe to our channel. Bye my friends.